Boltworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boltworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. What is going on, everybody? I hope you're doing well. My name is Andy with Boltworks Today, and let's start getting this girl prepped for her big makeover. So now with the two front windows removed from the windshield, this frame should be a whole lot lighter. So let's go down below and get this thing unbolted. That was about as good as I could possibly hope for. Nothing broke. I don't have it off the boat yet, but nothing broke. So I'll count that as a win. <laughs> Don't break. Please, please, please don't break. God. That could have been bad. <laughs> Alright, 
So now with a little bit more room to work up here, now I'm going to turn my attention to this forward deck. And to get started, I'm going to be doing some spot grinding in different locations, just see if I can find some clues or you know get some kind of an idea as to, one, why all these cracks are, are cropping up, and two, when I'm doing some of this grinding, I'm hoping to be able to see the different layers of, of the materials that were used by the previous owner. Now, as I mentioned last week, I suspect that there isn't a whole lot of, if any, new glass that's up here. I'm, I'm fully anticipating that I'm just going to be seeing a bunch of different layers of fairing compounds, and, and that's going to be it. Now, in last week's video when I was talking about the amount of flex and how springy this deck is, I basically I came to the conclusion that, you know, as part of that fix, I need to be adding a lot more glass up on top here. And while I certainly don't think that that's going to fix everything, I think it is going to solve a few problems here. Now... From the comments last week, there were there were so many good comments, so thank you for everybody that uh, that participated in that. But there were uh, some people that chimed in that were also uh, fellow Bertram owners as well as architects and uh, naval engineers. And basically what they were recommending was that, you know, in addition to what I do up on top, the, the amount of the stiffness that I'm going to gain is really going to be coming from the bottom. And while I do have that, you know, in my uh, as part of my plan down the road, and I'm really not looking forward to that part... Uh, I, I do understand that that is going to be a, a critical part of this repair process and one that most likely you're going to see uh, coming up here. So now with a few of these areas opened up, let's take a closer look and really see what's going on. And the first thing I'm noticing are these little white spots that I'm pointing to here. These are basically air voids, you know, beneath the glass. And honestly, whenever you're dealing with any kind of a radius, those are actually very, very common during the original layout process. So I'll likely be chasing those all around the perimeter of this hatch as well as this forward deck. Now, the other thing that I'm noticing <laughs> is, is the lack of fiberglass. So basically when I was doing the grinding on here, I just went down until I hit some of the original layers of glass. And then at that point, I just stopped. I didn't go any deeper. So when we're looking at the different layers here, now the, the green, that's the original glass layup from when the boat was built. Now this grayish stuff, that's typically a, a polyester-based filler with some glass hairs mixed in with it. It's basically a glorified Bondo. So when it comes to strength, I mean, that stuff really has absolutely nothing. But it is, it's, it's a filler that's used quite a bit in the automotive business. And then that white material, honestly, I don't know what it is. It, it's some sort of a filler or fairing compound. But uh, what, what was interesting, and I don't know if the camera picked this up, but... I actually removed four layers of this, so two layers of the gray and two layers of the white before I actually got down to the glass. So what you're seeing here is two of the four layers. So there was a lot of build and really no glass until I got down to the original material. So taking a look at an area where all that filler had been removed, I mean, there's almost a quarter inch of, of filler that had been removed. I feel like that old Wendy's grandma. It certainly is a big bun. It's a very big bun. Big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Well, I'm kind of thinking about I should have some t-shirts made up. So where's the glass? And then as we work our way up towards the bow, it's a very similar situation going on up here. I wouldn't say there's quite as much filler that was used, but there, there's still a lot of defects going on in the glass. And I'm almost certain that this is uh, part of the original layup. But all these little white dots that you're seeing, uh, these are all voids. I, I suppose they could be uh, resin-starved glass, but they look more like voids to me. And that's really what's allowing all these stress cracks to develop and carry all along the, the, the tow rail. So as far as where to go from here, well, I'm going to have to face the fact there's just going to have to be a ton of sanding and grinding up there. Uh, to get started, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to address all the, 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 the stress cracks that are obvious you know, at right now. So that's going to be a lot of work around the tow rail and as well as the hatch. So I'll get those ground down and I, I need to grind those more so that I completely remove all the voids so that I actually am laying glass on top of solid glass. But I think I'm going to address all those areas first. And then I'll come in, uh, pr probably with my belt sander. I don't want to use an actual like grinder grinder because I don't want to kick up dust and everything all over the shop because that's just, that's just a, a mess. So what I think I'll probably do is, you know, it'll take me a little bit longer, but I'll take a, a belt sander, hook that up to a vacuum with some 36 grit. And I would like to remove most, if not all, of the filler that's up on that deck. So that at least the, the, the new material that I'm going to be laying up is at least going to be in spots actually touching the original glass and then any filler that it is going over top is just going to be very very thin. 
because everybody that I have heard from uh, through comments and through uh, DMs uh, has said that the bow on their boat, and again, their, their Bertram's not necessarily this exact model, but all the people that I've heard from have said their bow, or, you know, the decks, side decks included, are just absolutely rock solid. So, I, I don't know. So, it's getting back to a point that I had kind of touched on earlier in this video, you know, so do I think that just laying up glass strictly on this top is going to fix it? Probably not. I think there's a chance, but I'm not really holding my breath. So I want to get the work up on top done because that really needs to get done anyways, just so that it can stabilize the surface, prevent any cracks from coming in and just, I just want to see if it'll work. And if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, well, then I'm going to have to be taking a dive down that rabbit hole and ripping out the plywood and then uh, figuring out how I want to address the underside of this deck. But we'll cross that bridge when I get to it. And on that note, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Now, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave those down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and share this social stuff, however that's all uh, done these days. And yeah, I'm going to get back to sanding because I've got an awful lot of it yet to do. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week. This has been the Boatworks Today Protection.